and the Obav Benin Ewari II has warned troublemakers to shun acts of violence ahead of the Edo State Governorship election. The Obawa receiving a delegation from the Independent National Electoral Commission led by the chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, said those who ferment trouble and violence during the upcoming state governorship election will face severe consequences. The monarch, while reacting to the call by the team from INEC on its worry over possible violence during the poll, assured the INEC leadership of the willingness of the Benin Royal Palace to cooperate with the electoral body. The blessings of the palace for the governorship election falling on Saturday, the 19th of September 2020. In addition, we are also here to express our appreciation to His Royal Majesty for the unanimity of the front shown to the Commission of We wish to assure the pilots that I know is ready for the governorship election. But like many Nigerians, we are concerned about some of the statements and actions by certain actors. I've uh, appealed to the political actors. Uh, they should please don't turn the two states into bad ground several times. I want to repeat that appeal because the, uh, the sacred nature of this uh, soil, of this ground, is such that all those that don't land into bad ground because of their greed in the job, we have uh, nemesis. We have nemesis, the law of karma, visited one by one individually. Otherwise, other heads of security agencies in the two states that are here with me to attest to what we have been able to put in place for the success of the, of the election. On the land, we are prepared to replace adequate security by adequate deployment of the police. All security agencies, the police, the civil defense, Immigration, the Nigerian Army, the Navy, the Air Force. On the waterways, because we know that the territorial communities, on the waterways and the riverland communities, we are equally synergizing with the Navy. The last time I was in Abuja, the structural police are directed at the letter written to the Chief of Defense Staff for the participation of the Navy 